Welcome back to A320 Knowledge, your trusted source for Airbus expertise. Today, we're diving into the buttons and switches on the left-hand side of the overhead panel. The A320 has hundreds of different buttons and switches, and we'll be tackling each of them section by section. The left-hand side of the overhead panel contains many critical controls for various systems. Today, we'll be going over the wipers, calls, oxygen, and recorder panels. The first section is the wiper panel for CM1. Each windshield is provided with two speed electric wipers that are controlled by their individual wiper selectors. With the wiper in the off position, the wiper is stowed out of view at the base of the window. When in the slow position, the wiper operates at low speed and when in the fast position, the wiper operates at high speed. There is a speed limit of 230 knots to prevent damage to the motor. A rain repellent system is installed, but this is deactivated by some airlines, so check your specific manuals in your operation. When the rain repellent button is pushed, the timer applies a measured quantity of rain repellent to the applicable windshield. To repeat the cycle, the push button must be pushed again. This function is inhibited when the aircraft is on the ground and the engines are not running. The next section is the calls panel. This panel allows the flight deck to initiate calls to the flight attendants via the cabin interphone system and the ground crew via the flight interphone system. The cabin interphone system is used for communication between the cockpit, flight attendant stations, and other external locations on the aircraft. The flight interphone system is used for communication between the cockpit and the external service interphone panel located near the nose gear on the external power panel. When the mech push button is pressed, the cockpit call light will illuminate on the external power panel and an external horn will sound. When the button is released, the horn is silenced. The cockpit call light will remain illuminated until the reset switch located on the external power panel is pushed. The forward and aft push buttons will call the forward or rear sections of the cabin respectively. The all push button will call both the forward and aft sections of the cabin. When these calls are made, the following indications are observed in the cabin. 1. A pink light will illuminate at the corresponding flight attendant area call panel. 2. A captain call message will appear on the corresponding flight attendant indication panel. 3. A high-low chime will sound through the corresponding cabin loudspeaker. Voice communication is established between the flight attendant station and the flight deck when the flight attendant picks up the handset. The final button on the calls panel is the emergency call button. When this is pressed, one, the on and call light will flash on the push button. Two, two pink lights will flash at all flight attendant area call panels. Three, an emergency call message appears on all flight attendant indication panels. Four, a high low chime sounds through all loudspeakers. These calls will be reset when the flight attendant presses their reset switch. The emergency call is reset by turning the push button off. The next section is the oxygen panel. This has some simple controls for both the passenger oxygen system as well as the flight deck oxygen. The red guarded mask man on push button in its default automatic position will deploy the cabin oxygen mask doors automatically when the cabin altitude exceeds 14,000 feet. In this case, it will also play a pre-recorded message to the cabin. When the push button is manually pressed, the cabin oxygen mask doors will open regardless of cabin altitude. In this case, no pre-recorded message will be played. In an emergency decompression scenario, the ECAM QRH will still call for the push button to press even if the masks have automatically deployed. As with any guarded push button, the action of switching this on must be confirmed between the two pilots. And for the case of a red push button, this action is irreversible. The passenger system on indication is not a push button. The message system on illuminates in white when the oxygen mask doors are actuated. It remains on until the oxygen timer reset switch is pushed on the overhead maintenance panel. Chemical generators supply passenger oxygen for approximately 15 minutes. 
the crew supply push button controls the flight deck oxygen system. When in the off position, the off light illuminates white and the oxygen supply valve is manually closed. When the push button is selected on, the off light extinguishes and the cockpit oxygen supply valve is open. Low pressure oxygen is supplied to the masks. Pre-flight checks of the minimum oxygen pressure on the door SD page. The values for your operator can be found in your FCOM. The voice recorder panel consists of cockpit voice recorder, CVR, and digital flight data recorder, DFDR controls. The CVR and DFDR are energized automatically during the following conditions. On the ground for five minutes following electrical power. On the ground continuously with at least one engine running. Continuously in flight, regardless if engines are operating. The CVR and DFDR both automatically stop five minutes after the last engine is shut down. The cockpit voice recorder is located in the aft section of the aircraft, equipped with an underwater locating beacon. It records direct conversations between crew members through a cockpit area microphone and boom microphones, oral cockpit warnings, intercommunication and radio transmissions. The CVRs are capable of 25 hours of recording. The passenger address system is also recorded if a PA reception knob is selected on. When the ground control push button is selected on, the CVR and DFDR are energized. This is used to test the CVR and DFDR and to record outside the normal recording scenarios. The push button reverts back to automatic after engine start. When the CVR erase push button is pressed for two seconds, it erases the CVR tape, provided the airplane is on the ground and the parking brake is set. When the CVR test push button is pressed and held, the CVR test is activated, provided the ground control is on and the parking brake is set. During the test, a low frequency tone is heard through the cockpit loudspeakers. Thanks for tuning into part one of this bite-sized tutorial on the overhead panel.